and they're off. Hold Me Black to the outside with a good beginning. No More Run is there. Ladies Weekend and Sharp Bart on the far outside. Four and a scramble on early as they move up the back stretch. Hold Me Black with an arrow lead. Ladies Weekend is right there running in second. Sharp Art comes away third. No More Run chasing from fourth. Spike Sherald on inside fifth. Around the dial comes away sixth and is five lengths off the lead. Top Brass on the outside of Flat Lucky. They are second and third to last together and completely outrun early is Stay Home. Home. The opening quarter in 22 and one-fifth seconds. Hold Me Black steps out to a length and a half advantage with three furlongs to go. Sharp Bart moves to be second. Ladies Weekend is back into third. No More Ron is making progress inside fourth. Spike Shirl circles up outside fifth. Around the dial, wider than that six. Top Brass under pressure seventh. Top of the stretch, Hold Me Black in front. Hold Me Black turning for home on a three-length lead. Spike Shirl to the attack. Spike Shirl moves into second and is closing in now. No More Ron is back in third. One furlong to go. Hold Me Black still clear by two. Spike Sherl trying hard to get by. 100 yards to do it. Hold Me Black is still in front. Spike Sherl runs out of racetrack and Hold Me Black wins the opener. Length on the wire. Spike Sherl second. No More Run was third and Stay Home who was 15 lengths out of it rallied for fourth. And they're off. Fortuna Adjuvant was off slow and is five lengths behind the rest of the field. Midnight Cocktail hustled out. Yogurt is also right there, too. So down the backstretch, Midnight Cocktail Yogurt and Tis a Bit Lucky fires through toward the rail. And now she's in front. So Tis a Bit Lucky on to take over the lead. Yogurt running in second. Midnight Cocktail third. Fabricate comes away fourth by four. But him and Mischief is back running along in fifth. Miss Sky Cat on inside six. Wendy's Fine Wine in seventh. And Fortuna Adjuvant after that slow start trails. Far turn. Tis a Bit Lucky head. Head to head with Yogurt. 21 and 4 was the opening quarter. Fabricate down inside up to be third. Midnight Cocktails racing fourth. A break of six. Bahama Mischief is under pressure racing about nine lengths off the lead in fifth. Ahead of Miss Sky Cat in sixth. And then it's Fortuna Adjuvant and Wendy's Fine Wine. Top of the stretch. Yogurt. Yogurt takes over the lead. It's Yogurt in front now. Tis a bit lucky on the wrong lead. Tiring second down inside. Fabricate comes through between them. Midnight Cocktails flat and out. Bahama Mischief is late on the scene. Down to the final 16th. And now here's Fabricate to the front. But Bahama Mischief on the outside is finishing fast. Fabricate trying to hold. Bahama Mischief outside. Final try. Fabricate holds on. Fabricate the winner. Bahama Mischief was second. Yogurt was third. Then it was either Midnight Cocktail or Tis a Bit Lucky.
They're in the gate. And they're off. Mr. Quality made a left-hand turn out of the gate. All West was squeezed back and relegated to the back. Ombrazzo for the downside post is racing for the lead, and Mr. Quality is away well, too, and the two long shots go out to set the pace. Locally owned backs off to be third inside. Gigging comes away fourth, and what a country is away fifth and toward the rail. And then it's all West on inside, a bit awkward there, racing in sixth, about five lengths off the lead. Bow Luminary on the outside of that one, and Job Security, the last of them all. So the field moves around the clubhouse turn, and Mr. Quality is now loose on the lead. Opens up to lead by a length with six for lungs to go. Umbrazzo tracking the pace outside second. Locally owned is covered up inside, cruising along in third, two and a half lengths off the leader. And then it's gigging, racing in fourth. Job Security is picking it up from fifth while All West goes up inside sixth. What a country's fan, very wide seventh and advancing nonetheless. Boluminary is now the trailer. It's a tight pack heading for the far turn. Mr. Quality, 24 seconds to a 48 and two half mile. The pace has not been fast. Umbrazzo's coming on two wide with a challenge. What a country looping up four wide. Gigging is right there too. Meanwhile, locally owned is bottled up in behind this wall of horses in fifth. Bo Luminary is picking it up from the back of the pack, too. Then it's Job Security and All West coming for the top of the stretch. Mr. Quality, Humbrazzo, what a country. Locally owned, dives down inside for a stretch bid. Bo Luminary is closing stoutly down the side of the track. There's one for long to go. Humbrazzo comes away with the lead. Locally owned, trying to rally down inside. Bo Luminary trying to rally outside. 16th pole. Locally owned has slipped through underneath. Bo Luminary finishing fast, too. These two to the wire together. Locally owned, got it. Locally owned, stuck to the inside route to beat Boluminary on the wire. Farther back, Mr. Quality or Humbrazzo. Number two, locally owned was first. The gate will be full after the risotto. They're in the gate. And they're off. Bit of crowding at mid-pack. Angel Decora and Majorette took the worst of that. It's Messina who bounces out on top. Wild Love comes away well, racing in second. Skyhawk is up close in third. Angel Decora, very restive in behind horses, wrangled back toward the inside, lost a couple of spots in the run to the clubhouse turn. So it is Messina out to set the pace, leads by just more than a length. Wild Love is running in second. Skyhawk is down inside third. Majorette moves up to be fourth. Risotto in the clear, racing fifth. Angel Decora down inside a bit more settled now. Five lengths off the lead, moves up into the fifth spot as Risotto is back into sixth. And she's a deal, the last of them all. The opening quarter was 24 and one fifth second. So it is Messina heading down the backstretch run, unopposed so far and cruising along with five for lungs to go. Wild Love is tracking the pace while second. They go 1-2, heading for the far turn. Majorette is up to be third outside of Skyhawk, who's inside fourth. She's a deal together with Angel Decora. They're still about six or seven lengths off the lead as Messina hits the far turn and break a four to Risotto. 
Messina trying to see it out. Here comes Wild Love with more pressure, though. Wild Love is cranking it up on the outside, and these two match drives round the far turn. Majorette within striking range, third and three lengths to make up there. She's a deals now, fourth in a strung out field. They're at the quarter pole. Messina and Wild Love. Wild Love, Messina. Wild Love takes charge off the turn and quickly puts three lengths on Messina, who's back into second. Majorette is third. She's a deal is fourth. There's one for long left, and Wild Love has ripped away from the pack. Clear by six, by seven, by eight. Wild Love, a decisive winner. Final margin might have been ten on the wire. Majorette's up for second. She's a deal third, and Messina was fourth. Number four, Wild Love was first. Number seven, Majorette was second. Three horses at seven to two, vying for favoritism as Tis Length Away goes in. In the gate, and the rough. Aztec Empire squeezed badly soon after the break and is relegated to the back of the pack. Dino's Cape. Also out of there, Dino's Cape takes the lead right away. Tis Light the Way from the outside post gets a forward spot, too. So Dino's Cape and Tis Light the Way, 1-2 bias the first time. Chocolate Bars racing in third. And then down inside, Cleveland Simpson is hard held fourth, trying to settle in toward the inside, about three lengths off the lead. Mau Mau comes away in fifth. Freedom's Flight to sixth and off is now seventh. Reigning Spirit comes out in eighth. Aztec Empire moves up into ninth after that slow start, and Shaka's the last of them all. And up top, it's Dino's Cape heading for the backstretch run in front by a length. Tis light the way, backed off just a bit, and is tracking the pacemaker in second. The opening quarter, solid enough, though, in 23 and two-fifth seconds. So it is Dino's Cape in front by length and a half. Tis light the way is running along in second. Chocolate bars honing in from third. Cleveland Simpsons moved outside from fourth, starting to advance as that one. Mau Mau is down inside racing fifth. Freedom's Flight to sixth, and only four lengths off the lead. And then it's an off inside seventh. Has to go now. Reigning Spirit started to put in a late rally. Aztec Empire still near the back, and at the back is Shaka. Around the far turn, Chocolate Bar. Looms up on the yachts at a Dino's Cape. Dino's Cape's in a full-out drive. Chocolate Bar is cruising alongside. They're off the turn going 1-2. Dino's Cape desperate to hold on. Chocolate Bar leans in but grabs the lead nonetheless. Freedom's Flight coming down the center of the track. Mau Mau bottled up inside. Reigning Spirit is there and an off. One for long to go. Chocolate Bar clear by two. Freedom's Flight continues to close. Reigning Spirit late on the scene. 50 yards left. Freedom's Flight. Reigning Spirit an off up into third. Freedom's Flight got it. Freedom's Flight from off the pace wins. Reigning Spirit second and off was third. And then it's tight for fourth.
Number nine, Freedom's Flight was first. Number four, Raining Spirit was second. Eight, Anoff was third. And seven, Chocolate Bar fourth. Not a They're in the gate. And they're off. And Queens Mason hits the ground running quickly out for the lead. Hidden Promise is there too. Unfuddled toward the outside is flashing speed as well. Up the chute heading for the main track. And Queens Mason after that good beginning. Here comes Lucky Bodie. Lucky Bodie quickly up on through to take over. So Lucky Bodie's now in front. Queens Mason is running in second. They go one, two. Two lengths back to Hidden Promise. Racing third outside. Bahama Channel's on the move from fourth. Unfuddled is running along in fifth. Automate to sixth. Continuum is seventh. Natural History is at the back as they move down the back stretch run 23 seconds flat that opening quarter and big long shot lucky Bodie out of the far turn showing the way Queens Mason keeping pace in second they round the turn together Hidden Promise is hovering to the route side, three wide while third. Bahama Channel set to strike in behind fourth. Unfuddled under pressure, fifth. Automate finds a seam, sixth. Natural History is going to try and stick to the inside, seventh. Continuum is eighth, but only four lengths off the lead. It is anyone's race, top of the stretch. Hidden Promise comes away with the lead. Queens Mason finishing fast as well. Queens Mason is back in front now. Queens Mason in front, one for long to go, but with that, Hidden Promise fights right back. Hidden Promise and Queens Mason to throw it down with 100 yards to go. Queens Mason on the inside. Hidden Promise outside. Nose is up and down. Here's the wire. Queens Mason looked like he got the bob. In a hard-fought race it was. Hidden Promise right there. Natural History third. They're in the gate, and they're off. Bit of a slow start for Blue Ridge Traveler. Good beginning for Almuth Mar. Proverb is there. Fort Peck toward the inside. Seek the peak. Intrepid Heart. Scrabble is on early. They race for the clubhouse. Turn in Almuth Mar for that outside post. Crosses and clears, but Intrepid Heart quickly comes on through to challenge. So now these two go head and head early on, and now Almuth Mar once again assumes control and opens up on the clubhouse turn. Intrepid Heart backs off to be second. Proverb comes away third. Fort Peck is fourth. Dinar's moving up while wide fifth. Seek the peak reserved back in sixth. Just at a Pluska Parfait on inside seventh. Chess Chief is eighth. Blue Ridge Traveler in some traffic at the back in ninth and three lengths back to Jungle Warfare, who's the trailer with five furlongs to go and eight lengths off the lead. And the opening quarter not particularly fast. 24 and one fifth seconds. There's four and a half furlongs to go. And Florence Roux trying to foster out the speed of Almuthmar. The leader with four furlongs to go. Intrepid Heart tracking from second at outside. Fort Peck saving ground inside while third. Proverb picks it up. Proverb up into third now. Dinar is revving up with a wide run. Wide on both turns for that one. Right there to seek the peaks in between horses. Farther back in the field, Chess Chief is asked to go now. Jungle Warfare switches to the outside. Puska Parfait saving ground. Almuth Mar and Intrepid Heart and Proverb. These three off the turn together. Intrepid Heart strikes the front. Almuth Mar tries to battle back. Proverb with a long shot chance outside. Proverb takes the lead. One for long to go. Intrepid Heart tries to battle back. Then it's Almuth Mar. Seek the peak and Chess Chief 16th pull. Proverb desperate to hold on. Intrepid Heart battles back. Intrepid Heart reclaims the lead. Intrepid Heart won. Intrepid Heart the winner. Proverb ran a big race. Has to settle for second. Puska Parfait and Chess Chief.
Number one, Intrepid Heart was first. Number 11, Proverb was second. Photo for third. They're in the gate. And the rough. Get Western to the inside with a good beginning. Spectacular gem is there. Seven trumpets up close to Snapper Sinclair for that outside post. A little bit wide racing for the clubhouse turn. Spectacular gem goes out with it. Angles over to the inside and leads by two. Get Western is running in second. Seven trumpets third. A little bit wide into that turn trying to tuck in just a bit. Great wide open. Down inside moves up to be fourth. Mr. Dumas comes away fifth and four lengths off the lead. Snapper Sinclair sixth. Made you look in seventh by three. And that is Dr. Mounty and Mr. Misunderstood, the last of them all. Ten lengths from top to bottom. The opening quarter goes in 24 seconds flat. And so it is. Spectacular gem. Heading down the backstretch in front by three quarters of a length. Get Western tracking intently second on the outside. And seven trumpets not far behind either. Three wide third for that far turn run. Great wide open is tucked away, fourth and at the rail. Mr. Dumas is still fifth and five lengths to make up there. Made you look is down inside six. Snapper Sinclair's under pressure, seventh. Mr. Misunderstood's making progress from eighth. Dr. Mounty is ninth. They're both about nine lengths off the lead, though. They're at the quarter pole. Spectacular gem turning for home in front. Get Western to the attack. And these two come off the turn together. Farther back, great wide open trying to come on late. Mr. Dumas is asked to go now. Made you look is there. Mr. Misunderstood trying to rally toward the the rail. There's one for long to go. Spectacular gem spurts away. Spurts away to lead by four with 100 yards to go. Mr. Dumas on the outside of Mr. Misunderstood. It made you look, but spectacular gem. Sharp in victory. Wins by three. Mr. Misunderstood photos with Mr. Dumas. Made you look was fourth. Number five, Spectacular Gem first, photo for second. Number three, Mr. Misunderstood was second, nine, Mr. Dumas was third, and eight, Major Look was fourth. Not official. And they're off. Bow down to May with a good beginning. Katie's Bell is also there. Beach House comes through toward the rail. Teenage Kicks not far behind. Fourth and outside now backing off that early pace. Zippy Kaye advances from the inside up to be fifth with Queen Licia. Then it's Master of Domain about six lengths off the lead. Osprey Court second to last early. Not the needy gal at the back. So down the backstretch. Beach House comes on through. It's Beach House in front for the far turn run. 
Katie's Bell right there running in second. They go one, two. Bow down to May. Three wide and coming up from third. Teenage Kicks is set to strike in between while fourth. Queen Licia is on the move fifth. Master of Domain forced to go four, five wide, sixth. Osprey Court is seventh. Not a needy gal starting to pick it up from the back of the pack. They come for the top of the stretch. Katie's Bell comes away with the lead. Teenage Kicks is right there. Beach House is down inside. Bow down to May. Fights on as well. Queen Licia down toward the inside. Master of Domain is out of the contest. One for long to go. Teenage Kicks has come away with the lead. And just like that puts four lengths on the field. Teenage Kicks. By the 16th pole in front by six lengths. Katie's Bell second by another five. Under the wire, Teenage Kicks cruised on home. Katie's Bell second, Osprey Court third. Queen Licia fourth, and Nadi Nidiga was fifth. Number 10, Teenage Kicks was first. Number 6, Katie's Bell was second. For a third 